Good morning, dear children. I hope you all are fine and safe at home. Welcome again to the Google Classroom of Sri Gogulam Public School, Gurwayu. I have gone through your test paper. All of you have performed very well. Now let's recall what all things we have discussed in the previous class. Yes, we have discussed about conduction, transfer of heat, conductors and insulators. What is the meaning of conductors? Conductors means which conduct heat and insulators means which does not conduct heat. We have already studied that in solid heat is transferred by the process of conduction. So today we will be discussing about convection. What is the meaning of convection? Transfer of heat in liquid and gases is known as convection. With the help of some example, let us understand what is convection. Now let us perform an activity. You must have seen tiny tea leaves moving up and down in water while being heated. This is because the bottom surface of the beaker gets heated first. The water in contact with this surface gets hot and rises up. Cold water from the top rushes in through the sides to fill its place. This water also gets hot and rises up. Thus, circular currents of hot and cold streams of water are set up inside the vessel. Such a method of heat transfer in which there is actual movement of molecules of the substance being heated is called convection. This method of heat transfer occurs in liquid and gases. The water and air are poor conductors of heat. Then how does the heat transfer take place in these substances? Let us find out. Now look at some other example. Take a round bottom flask. Fill it two thirds with water. Place it on a tripod. Or make some arrangement to place the flask in such a way that you can heat it by placing a candle below it. Wait till the water in the flask is still. Place a crystal potassium permanganate. What is that? Crystal potassium permanganate is a chemical compound. It is purplish black crystalline solid that dissolve in water to give intensely pink or purple. So place a crystal of potassium permanganate at the bottom of the flask gently using a straw. Now heat the water by placing the candle just below the crystal. When water is heated, the water near the flame gets hot. Hot water rises up. The cold water from the sides moves down towards the source of heat. This water also gets hot and rises and water from the sides moves down. This process continues till the whole water gets heated. This mode of heat transfer is known as convection. Now, how does the heat travel in air? In which direction does the smoke go? The air near the heat source gets hot and rises. The air from the sides comes in to take its place. 
In this way, the air gets heated. To understand this better, let's perform an activity. Perform an activity. Light a candle. Keep one hand above the flame and one hand on the side of the flame. Do the hands feel hot? If not, which hands feel hotter and why? Notice that towards the top, the air gets heated by convection. Therefore, the hand above the flame feels hot. On the sides, however, there is no convection and air does not feel as hot as at the top. Let us understand it better with the help of an example. Land and sea breeze near the coastal areas are a result of the convectional currents set up in air. Look at the first feature. Since the land surface is a better conductor of heat than water, it gets heated faster during the day. This makes the air close to the land surface warmer. The warmer air rises up and the cool air from the sea rushes to take its place. This is known as sea breeze. At night the land cools faster than water in the sea. So the air above the sea is warmer than the air over the land surface. The warmer air over the sea being lighter rises up and the cool air from the land takes its place. This is called land breeze. So till now what we have discussed in conduction the heat transfer takes place in solids while in convection the heat transfers takes place in fluids that is liquids and gases. So let me conclude today's session. Today what we have discussed, yes we have discussed about convection, sea breeze and land breeze. So dear students I have attached the URL video and notes to the classroom. And there will be a small test paper as you know related to this topic. And please read the textbook daily. On Saturday, please be ready with the paper and pen. Okay? Till then, take care. Bye.